So here at the Victor Chang Institute, we've cracked the genetic code for one family by identifying the mutation that caused severe heart failure in some members of that family. We've furthermore been able to devise a therapy, a personalised gene-based therapy that could overcome that genetic defect. And so where some members of this family have been told that they may only have months to live, we've been able to restore their heart function to almost normal. It's a world first in the context of heart failure and cardiomyopathy. Dilated cardiomyopathy is a condition where the heart cannot pump enough blood around the body. And that's a major risk factor for stroke and heart failure. And it affects about one in 2,000 Australians. So this is a great example of bedside to bench and back to bedside medicine. We had a group of referring clinicians who identified a family with a, an unusual problem. They were able to refer them to Diane Fatkin's laboratory at the Victor Chang to do the molecular genetic studies and identify the genetic problem in the patient. She was then able to refer them to us to identify the underlying problem in that gene defect and what the consequences of it were. We were then able to formulate a recommended treatment for these patients, take that back to the referring clinicians who were then able to implement a management plan that has resulted in these patients getting almost full recovery from their condition. So as you can see in this top ECG tracing, there are some normal beats, but there's a lot of abnormal activity as well. And then six weeks after treatment, you see the ECG at the bottom. It's all nice regular activity and all that abnormal activity has disappeared. This is certainly a, what we might call a proof of principle that this concept of personalised medicine can really work. So I think that holds great hope for the entire range of genetic disorders, where if you can identify the very specific genetic cause, you can actually treat it with a specific drug. The two areas we need to work on is one, exploiting the new generation of sequencing technologies to help us identify the critical gene defects that are causing the problem, and then secondly, identifying drugs that can ameliorate those gene defects, which ultimately should help us save more lives. Thank you.